big problems. And as a matter of fact, I think the statistics are scary. Um, 30% and above, they, they're, they're saying, have some kind of mental health uh, challenge amongst those who have actually had the COVID-19. Um, some of them, they call them the long haulers. Terms like brain fog are beginning to show up in many clinics of patients who maybe just, they just had a, a mild COVID-19 attack. Maybe they had a lot of smell, a little malaise, fatigue, fever, and they were okay. And then weeks afterwards, they, you would see them come back to the clinic with some terrible symptoms, including um, severe fatigue, sensitive sensitivity, um, numbness, um, brain fog, inability to remember words and names. I mean, it is just ridiculous what we're, what we're hearing about. And of course, Dr. O mentioned the, the loss of gray matter. So we are dealing with, this is really uncharted territory, not to mention the, uh, the high rates of anxiety and depression and PTSD and all those things. So in such conditions, and um, this is where not just the healthcare professionals need to be equipped, but also the general public. So there are, and the way I think about it is what is, what is it going to take to strengthen the brain? We talked about the immune system. I think we also need to start thinking about strengthening the brain. There are now nutrients, um, scientifically proven nutrients and nutraceuticals designed by well-respected scientists and doctors that are targeting brain function and brain structure that will help to strengthen uh, the brain. A typical example, of course, are the omega-3 fatty acids. And I have to say this, that 90% of the omega-3 fatty acids, uh, with all due respect, in health food stores do, are not up to snuff, snuff because there's a a lot, of, a lot involved in purifying omega-3 fatty acids and making them bioavailable for the body. So there are, but there are some really, really good ones that will help. And don't forget, 60% of your brain is actually made up of fat. And that fat, a large percentage of that fat is made up of omega-3. So if you are strengthening your brain, you cannot not talk about strengthening uh, using omega-3s. Obviously, there are habits, and uh, I'm going to say a few more, talk about a few more nutrients, but there are habits and, uh, and, and practices that are very important. Dr. O mentioned uh, the Bible, your religion, depending on your religion, your religious practices, having spending more time in things like meditation, things like uh, silent repose, uh, contemplation. These are things that help to calm your brain down. And help to strengthen that inner man, so to speak, that inner strength, inner part of your, uh, inner part of your, who you are, which in turn helps to strengthen your brain. Um, exercise, of course, is very important. Sleep. The reason we didn't say this, Doc, but the reason why sleep is so important is that sleep is when your brain and the rest of your body get the chance to repair themselves. So the deeper your sleep is, the more restful your sleep is, and the more qualitative your sleep is the greater the chance you have of recovering. And I still want to emphasize again that fiber, please, fiber. Now there are good quality fiber supplements. I take one almost every day. Uh, the flakes, not the tablets, not the powder, but the flakes. And you all, I mean, you're all familiar with the one that starts with M that is in most stores. I don't even recommend that. There are more natural, more organic forms of fiber supplements that will do extremely well especially if you take them at night in helping to heal your digestive system and helping even to help in brain function and improving your brain structure as well. So fiber, you cannot under or overemphasize, over, overemphasize, overstate the importance of fiber. I know I'm throwing a lot of things out at you, but please, um, the key, the antidote to depression and anxiety, in addition to going to a counselor, is rebuilding your brain and giving your brain the right nutrients. I'll, I'll stop at this point.